How's it going guys and gals, this is Periodic, bringing you the Imperial Agent Skill Calculator from Torhead.com. This is of course for Star Wars The Old Republic. I covered the operative archetype in my last video, and now we're going to be covering the Sniper. Range DPS, classic. You're not going to get any heals from this class at all. You're just going to be laying down the you know, suppressive fire, you're going to be laying down the DPS, sweeping the deeps from as far away, you know, long range, and uh, yeah, just uh, owning up some nub scrubs. So <clears throat> we're going to start off with the marksmanship tree all the way at the bottom. Uh, we can put two points into cover screen, which um, allows you to exit cover, or when exiting cover, you have a 50% chance to gain a cover screen, increasing range defense by 20% for six seconds, which is uh, pretty nice, especially starting off, because a lot of times um, when guys get close to you, let's just say you, you use the cover mechanic, and then um, you pop some shots, and then the rest of the NPCs start to come at you, the mobs, um, it's nice to have some uh, defense while you're going from cover to cover. Now we also have steady shots, which increase the dam increases the damage dealt by snipe series of shots and call by three percent. You can put two uh, points in that, get a total of six percent. Marksmanship increases range and attack accuracy by one percent, and we can put three, um, we could, you know, put three points in that and get a total of three percent. That's uh, pretty mandatory if you're going to be doing any sniping at all. Imperial dem demarcation. I hope I pronounced that right. It reduces the cooldown of a leg shot by 1.5 seconds. Um, two points for that. Now, precise precision ambush um, causes ambush to ignore 10% of the target's armor, and you can put that all the way to 20%. We also have ballistic dampers, <coughs> which, when entering cover, grants three charges of ballistic dampers. Now, each charge absorbs 15% of the damage dealt by an incoming attack. This effect cannot occur more than once every 1.5 seconds. Ballistic dampers can only be gained once every 6 seconds. Lastly, in the second tier, we have Heavy Shot, which uh, causes uh, <clears throat> when ambush strikes a target within 10 meters, the target is knocked back several meters. Pretty self-explanatory. In the third tier, we have Snapshot. Entering cover has a 50% chance to make the next snipe activate instantly. Pretty cool. Snipe has a, a cast time, so that's a nice little trick there you can play two uh, points in there so you can have a 100% chance. We have Diversion at a range of 35 meters. It throws a smoking canister at the target, reducing its accuracy by 45% for 9 seconds and exposing the target from cover for 6 seconds. Reactive Shot, which is <coughs> can only be gotten if you put points into Precision Ambush. You will be able to use Reactive Shot at that point and it allows you to snipe and series, uh, it allows snipe and series of shots, critical hits, to have a 50% chance to reduce the activation time of the next ambush by one second. You can put two points in that. Now, Sniper's Nest increases the energy regeneration rate by one second while in cover. We have the three-point Sniper Volley, which has ambush, has a 33.34% chance to grant Sniper Volley, increasing alacrity by 3% for 6 seconds. While Sniper Volley is active, each subsequent snipe has a 33.34% chance to build an additional stack of Sniper Volley. Stacks up to 3 times. The initial Sniper Volley effect cannot be gained more than once every 3 seconds. Now Sector Ranger cover pulse knocks target back an additional 2 meters. Additionally reduces the activation time of Orbital Strike by 1 second. Not bad. The two point between the eyes increases the critical hit chance of snipe, series of shots, and follow through by 2%. Just your basic, you know, damage um, increasing talent. Recoil control, which can only be gotten if you first get follow through, fires a well controlled follow up shot at the target that deals 1941 to 2163 weapon damage, only usable within four, the 4.5 seconds immediately following a sniper ambush. I like that, how you can only use it within a certain amount of time. And <clears throat> once you do follow through, it, you can put two points into recoil control, which reduces the energy cost of follow through by two and reduces its cooldown by 1.5 seconds. In this, uh, the last two talents, uh, two point talent that you can put in this uh, little tier is pillbox sniper. Reduces the cooldown of entrench and orbital strike by 7.5 seconds. Goes hand in hand with uh, like sector range, really, so that'll be 8.5 seconds. Um, unless if, let's see, if, I believe you can double that. Let's just put a bunch of, you know, nonsense talents here. Just 
excuse me, just to get up to there, because I want to see if... Yep, there you go, 15 seconds. So that's nice, 16 seconds that you can um, reduce the cooldown time or both strike. Now, the five-point Imperial Assassin increases the critical damage dealt by series of shots, take down and follow through by 6%. That just makes sense to, you know, put them all in. Did I use up all my points? I don't think I did. All right, here we go. Five points in that. So we can get that all the way up to 30%. <coughs> and, of course, Rapid Fire immediately finishes the cooldown on series of shots and triggers the next series of shots without a cooldown. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's get out of there. Now we go on to engineering, and uh, these two um, trees here are unique to the sniper. The operative does share lethality with um, the sniper, but we'll get to that last. So we go to engineering. You put two points in engineer's tool belt, reduces the cooldown of flashbang by 7.5 seconds, and fragmentation grenade by 1.5 seconds, all the way up to 15 and 13 seconds respectively. We also have energy tanks, increases maximum energy by 5. Of course we'll want that. And Gearhead increases total cunning by 3%. Let's put 3 points in that and take 2 points out of there. <coughs> we have Vitality Serum increases total endurance by 2%. Oh, sure, we want endurance. Calculated Pursuit. You have 50% chance to gain Calculated Pursuit upon exiting cover, allowing your next snipe to be used in any situation. That's actually pretty cool. Let's uh, hold on for that for now. Vital Regulators. Adrenaline Probe now heals you for 3% of your total health over 3 seconds. Sure. And Explosive Engineering increases the damage dealt by Explosive Probe and all area effects by 5%. I love my AoE, so we're going to pick that, of course. Cluster Bombs. After Explosive Probe detonates, it drops one Cluster Bomb on the target. A Cluster Bomb explodes when damaged by Blaster Fire, dealing 184 kinetic damage to the target. Cluster Bombs cannot be detonated more than once every 1.5 seconds. Pff, come on. Of course you're going to get that, guys. Now, this is interesting because Interrogation Probe actually branches to three different abilities or three different talents themselves and this ha uh, uses 20 energy in the range of 30 meters and it summons an interrogation probe that clings to the target and deals 2581 energy damage over 18 seconds we're going to take that and we're also going to look at inventive interrogation techniques which uh sends an interrogation probe that reduces the target's movement speed by 50 percent for the duration pretty good if you're going to be soloing um and also definitely for pvp but we're not going to take that for now efficient engineering reduces the energy cost of explosive probe interrogation blah, interrogation probe and plasma probe died by two let's put one point on that um stroke of genius <coughs> Activating Cover Pulse has a 50% chance of making the next snipe activate instantly. Sure, let's put 100% for that. And Imperial Methodolo Methodology increases the number of cluster bombs dropped by Explosive Probe by 1. In addition, when the cluster bombs detonate, you recover 5 energy. Oh, of course we will. So that's going to be uh, 3 cluster bombs. And Experimental Explosives increases the critical damage dealt by all area of effects by 15%. Yeah, definitely. Augmented Shields increases the amount of damage absorbed by Shield Probe by 15%. Let's skip that for now. Let's trust in our healers. Though this is always, you know, I, I say that and that's kind of the words of a bad DPS, but a good DPS at the same time. Whereas um, it's great to have trust in your healers, but it's also good to mitigate some damage, you know, uh, here and there. So um, definitely uh, if you're low on healers in your group, in your raid, if you're soloing, this is definitely a good talent to have. But if you have supreme trust in them and they've never failed you before, then, you know, no really point in putting two points in this when we can put it in other things. EMP Discharge. Range of 30 meters discharges an el electromagnetic pulse from an active interrogation probe on the target, immediately dealing 580 587 to 754 energy damage to the effective target. Also immediately finishes the cooldown on adrenaline probe and shield probe. And we're also looking at energy overrides. After activating EMP Discharge, the next explosive probe or plasma probe used cuts 50% less energy. Sure, let's put one point of that. Actually, let's put two since... Um we have to have a few more points to get up to our next tier. And I'm going to use Calculated Pursuit. Okay, Electrified Railgun. Series of shots has a 33.34% chance when dealing damage to electrify the target, dealing 98 elemental damage over 4 seconds. Stacks up to 4 times, and we're going to do that 3 times to get <laughs> over 100% chance. That's 
funny. Good math there, guys. Um, deployed shields. It reduces all damage taken while in cover by 3%. Reduces the cooldown of ballistic shield by 15%. Sure, let's let's do that. I want to do that over um, damage absorbed by shield pro because this, while I'm in cover, uh, I want to not take damage while in cover, so definitely I want to do that. And plasma probe. 20 energy. Range 30 meter deploys a plasma drone over the target area that deals 1,436 to 2,103 elemental damage over 18 seconds to up to three enemies within five meters. We're gonna take that. So, <clears throat> of course, this is just off the top of my head, guys. I'm not really, you know, theory crafting or anything like that. I'm just like, oh, this looks nice. This looks nice. It could be completely wrong. Now, you guys know uh, I've talked about it before. Um, the the similarities in the Imperial Agent with Operative. So you have uh, Deadly Directive, Lethality, and Razor Edge. And if we go to Operative, we have Deadly Directive, Lethality, and Razor Edge. And uh, pretty much everything is <coughs> very um, similar, as you can see. Uh, right there, Cut Down, Target and Demolition, Corrosive Grenade. We have, um, I think I just clicked on the same thing. Uh, maybe I'm not. Corrosive Grenade, Combat Sims. But some of them are uh, a little different, as you can see. Um, as you can see right there, you have targeted, targeted demolition, which and I'm just going to cover the ones that are different. Targeted demolition, which increases the damage dealt by fragmentation grenade and corrosive grenade by 4%. You can get that twice and get uh, 8%. And I think besides that, I think the only the top, uh, second to top tier is the only one that's different. If I am looking at this the right way, uh, besides this one as well. So once you get call and you know, uh, call is on both of them, which fires a volley of bolts at the target, dealing 667 to 744 weapon damage each second. For each of your poison effects present on the target, the target is called for an additional 255 internal damage each second. Now, what this branches off into, which is different than the operative, is razor rounds, which increase the critical chance of call in series of shots by 2%. And as you can see, the operative has license to kill, which just uh, reduces... Um, the energy cost. Now we go here and hold your ground is the different lethality talent than the operative and what hold your ground does is reduce the cooldown of shield pro by 7.5 seconds and cover pulse by 5 seconds. You can put two uh, talents in that to a total of 15 and 10 seconds respectively. Guys, this was, and girls, can't forget you, uh, this was Sniper for Imperial Agent. Like favorite subscribe i'll be coming out with these when i'm not playing uh swotor which is coming out tomorrow for the early access Pfft, uh, I'll, I'll see you in the game guys all right this is periodic saying see ya